in the market. Sorry, warehouse. Not <laughs> sit pouring from the sky. All right, so let's get back to the story. Uh, so you found all these zombies and skeletons that you're able to kill. Um, what do you do? Well, these can't be the only ones around. Let's go check and make sure we don't have any others. Follow the screams? That's a wonderful idea. I'm going to search the grounds real quick. Uh, you just see the treasure? bodies. Treasure? The... No treasure. <laughs> you just notice that. <laughs> of course, the skeletons are more decomposed. The zombies uh, look like they are. They were wearing um, garments for, like, you know, for their funeral. So if you had a guess, they probably came from the, uh, the graveyard. Can we track them? You can follow splats of mud and dirt. Can we tell, or could I tell how many there were? Uh, I'll be right back. I'm sorry. Continue, continue. You don't hear any more shouting. Uh, you hear some kids crying, but there's no screaming or shouting anymore. And there's some people that are kind of huddling in their houses, and some people are now coming out and seeing exactly what happened and things like that. So it seems to be pretty much over. I want to go check on the kids that are crying. I'll make sure they're okay. Well, they're, they're going to be. They're pretty scarred seeing rotten human flesh walking down the, the road. But, uh... Yeah, I'm sure their their parents are going to have a handful trying to calm them down, and they're probably not going to sleep well for a few nights at least. So, okay, their parents are telling them that monsters don't exist. Yeah, that didn't help very much. Yeah, I didn't think Avengro even tried to uh, pull that piece of bullshit off. <laughs> There's such superstitious lot here. Pretty much, bloody peasants. Well, I will say you probably boosted up your uh, your uh, renown in the area because you actually killed the undead, which the people of the area hate the undead. So. Right. All right. So, what are you doing? I say we go back to bed. I was about to say, yeah, I'm going back to sleep. Good night's work, guys. Let's go back to sleep. Call us <laughs> if you need us. Hey, guys, to clean this up later. Ghostbusters! Alright guys, head back to uh, Kendra Lynn Moore's house. And she's in her nightgown, and she's waiting aside and want to know what happened. Microphone muted. <coughs> <coughs> Microphone activated. I just explained that things are not going as planned. She looks at you kind of confused. Uh, okay. Don't worry, ma'am. You're perfectly safe and we will we'll fulfill our promise to the professor. Okay. <laughs> I'm going back to sleep now. <laughs> That's probably a safe idea. I am too. I was up late and now I had to wake up. Please don't wake me before noon if necessary. If you see a drunk man, just let him keep doing what he's doing. No, in this circumstance, go ahead and wake me for that. Otherwise, just let me sleep. Alright, so you guys go back to sleep. Uh, the night is uneventful. And uh, you wake up in the morning, and there's a knock on the door. Door of the house, that is. I'm ignoring unless I made unless I got a full eight hour sleep. Jarvis, who's at the door? <laughs> you, know, you hear uh, one of the housekeepers, uh, the maid, go over and answer the door, and it's the the councilman again who lives nearby. And you guys can hear chatter in your room, and there seems to be some talking, some loud voices, and. Uh, you won't be able to understand it unless you go out there. <coughs> what does that say? You guys got eight hours of sleep each, so you're fine. I'll go down and Mom. investigate. 
Same. So I'll, I'll spend about 30 minutes meditating over my staff. Wow, is, is that, that what you call, you call it? it? <laughs> Jinx. Well, I have to get the good stuff somehow. <laughs> so, uh, apparently, uh, someone broke blood again uh, on that, uh, uh, oh, what's it called? Bridge. Yeah, yeah. So now there's a V and an E. Yeah. I think it's time to go back to the prison and put a stop to all this. And the, the council member says they're going to have a meeting at the town hall uh, later that uh, that day, probably around 5 or 6 p.m. And they're going to kind of discuss everything and, and kind of get everyone's thoughts and, and try to, to subside people's um, worries and concerns. And then they'll head over to have whoever wants to come to the funeral will be right afterwards. I'm going to look at him and say quite bluntly, I don't think we have time to do that. Or we probably need to, you know, try to fix what's going on and, you know, take care of business. Uh, you do what you need to do. Uh, we found out that those bodies did come from the uh, the restlands. And they found where they actually dug themselves out of their, their, uh, their graves and came, you know, slogging along all the way to the city and started attacking. Luckily, no one was hurt. Uh... So everything, everything is okay. What were the two letters that were written in blood? V. First two. Yeah, first two letters of her name. Okay, that that would be the warden's wife. Right. Yeah. Yeah. The one that's holding back all the evil, evil. It might be time for us to get in the hole. Yeah, we've got a whole bunch of letters left. <laughs> This is true. You do have time. Her name is kind of long. So it's not like that. It, it's up here. Research until we level. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so guys, what, what do you want to do? Well, we probably should go ahead and attend the, uh, the town meeting so we have an idea of what's going on and try to reassure as many people at one time that we're going to try and do something to stop this. Okay. Uh, so you have until 5. Right now it's like, let's just say 8 in the morning. I'm going to stay in the uh, manor and just read that journal and pick through it as much as I can. Well, uh, who was it that was uh, with me before at the school researching? Uh, Hasselfarm and Melonin. I'm Melonin, so I'm the one. <laughs> oh, okay. Pro. Okay, Hasselfarm. Um, should we we did such wonderful uh, research uh, before? You want to do some more research so we can find out more information about the other guys? Yeah, be be, be, be sure. Because we've already done quite a bit of research on the Whispering Way, and we still have three guys miss, uh, that we haven't researched yet, and unless there's anything else we need to research besides that, because I'm, I'm going on very partial ruminant information here. Uh, pretty much you do have all the information out of the Harrison and the Whispering Way. The only thing left is to figure out about the individual uh, five prisoners. Uh, you figured out two so far of the five. Okay. I'm going to go to the temple and research Father Charlatan. Okay. Seems like he might be a priest. All right. All right. All right. Uh, roll it. I'm going to say each time you do research, it's going to be four hours. Um, that's actually what it says in the book anyway. And Hasselfam, and then uh, who's, with, with with people who are, all right, between Hasselfam and Melanin, who's going to be the person who's going to be getting the bonus? Okay, uh, what is your res what is your uh, knowledge skills uh, at? Nothing. Then I'll be getting the bonus. I have an eight knowledge history. Okay, so go ahead and roll. 
Go ahead and roll your check. Oh, splendid. All right, so which one do you want to look into? You know about the Lopper, and you know about Splatter, the Splatter Man. You have the Piper of Ilmarsh, Mosswater Marauder, and Father Charlton. Well, um, Cupcakes is going to go try to get some more information about um, the Father Charlton, so uh, we'll do the Piper of Ilmarsh first. The Piper of Ilmarsh, uh, real name is actually unknown. Before he snatched his victims, the piper taunted his targets with a mournful dirge on his flute. He preferred to paralyze lone victims by dosing their meals with lich dust and then allowing his pet sturges to drink their victims dry of their blood. Sounds like a delightful individual. Alright, so 400 XP, 5 by 5 So 75, I guess. 80? 80, I knew that. And Cup, Cupka, on his first four hours, came up empty-handed. Ah. Uh, so, so it's new, it's new now. Uh, sadly, it's Raina and Crow. What are you guys doing? Oh, Raina, you said you're reading the journal. Is that right? Yep. Uh, roll a d20. All right, you find two entries, actually. Now you know who stored the uh, all that stuff in the false crypt. So the next time that I see uh, Kupka, I'm gonna, you know, tell him about these two entries, especially the one that starts with 20 days ago, and see if he can get the list. I guess that's the. Is that the list of the five uh, people? Yeah, you guys already know the names. So. Okay, uh, let's see. Crow, what are you doing? Sitting in silence, apparently. Okay, well, we can just continue on. We'll get back to him. So it's noon. Do you guys want to do you want to do for the next like four or five hours? Well, Hasselfarm and I have one more person to research. Okay. Yep. Okay, it looks like you came up short. Didn't quite find anything. 
That's what she said. Okay. Oh. I'm gonna cast guidance upon myself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I'm gonna spend the next four hours researching. Oh, jeez. Yeah, you nailed it. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, you actually got a total of 30 on that one. <laughs> Very nice. Guidance every time. Where's that? So you rolled, rolled an 18, then you had a plus 8, and you get some plus 4 from the location you chose. <laughs> Chip. Hey, uh, sorry about that, guys. Had a little bit of a an emergency over here, but uh, I think we're got under control now. What happened? Uh, they were lighting fireworks and something caught on fire. Jeez. Nice. <laughs> Probably not a good a good thing. Yeah, yeah, we're we're, we're good, we're good. But uh, I was like, well, I could put out the fire, or we could uh, try to find out what's going on with these zombies. You so. chose poorly. Zombies, <laughs> zombies. <laughs> Yeah, in retrospect, I probably should just let it burn. <laughs> nah, we would never blame you for wanting to not have your house burned down. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm sorry, what did I miss? What did I miss? Let's see. Well, I flopped in trying to get information about the Mosswater Marauder. Okay. Uh, let's see. I got some text here. So my father, Charlton, was known as uh, Civic Corbin. And that's information about him right above that. And then Mandy found two more entries in the journal. Okay, cool. And Mandy, with your last four hours before the meeting, are you going to research the journal again? Might as well. All right, roll a d20. What is the name, the Selfic? Corbin. What, what about what now? Uh, the the name in the chat window. That's the real name of uh, the Father Charlton. Ah, got it. Well, this guy ain't so bad, but he'll tell us lies. All right, so you have finished the journal and you found one last entry entry of interest. This is pretty much uh, right before he died. Wait, if he was in a rush two weeks ago... We're already going to be too late if we take too long. I want to kill things. <laughs> Was that the duck speaking? That's kind of creepy. <laughs> Lovely. All right, now Crow... Uh, you didn't get a chance to really do anything for eight hours. So you get, you had to do two things, like research-wise. Same particular way where you want to go, or what do you want to? All right. <clears throat> Pre pretty much, they, they just have one more person to find out about. It's the Mosswater Marauder. So if you want to, you can go to one of the locations and try to research them if you want. Okay, um, I'm pulling up the map right now. I don't know if that's going to help me. Crow, what class are you playing? I'm a paladin. Okay. So we have something of a surplus of positive energy here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, by the way, for figuring out about Father Charlton, that's, that's 80 XP. Is that split or is that total? That's... Tell me that's already split. Yeah, it's already split, yeah. Now you see why I say each. <laughs> okay, um, 
Let's see. What uh, are there any specific areas that we as a party know have not been explored so far in the town? Oh. Well, uh, I can tell you this much, and uh, Cupcake will let you know this as well. It seems like the Temple Frosma have the most information about the prisoners. The what? I'm sorry. The Temple, temple Frosma. Okay. Um, is anybody there currently? Yeah, Kepka is. It's not going to be able to okay. give you any bonuses, but okay. you can try. Uh, 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 it's four o'clock now, isn't it? Well, the thing is, he hasn't. He's been uh, gone. Yeah, got he hasn't it. Had a chance to do either four o'clock. So I don't think he's done either of them yet. So he actually has a total of eight hours to spend. Okay, I'll spend uh, some time at the temple uh, investigating. And what would be the best role for that? Uh, it's just it's just like, like history or local. Okay. <clears throat> if you don't have it, in this roll and add your intelligence. Okay. Uh, first four hours, you do not have anything. Oh, there you go. And by the way, what is this, uh, what, what religion is this? Or what, you know? Uh, Phrasma? Uh, yeah. What, would I know anything of, uh, this religion? Uh, most likely know a little bit about it. Um. Okay, just curious more than anything. Uh, I know she, a lot about it. <laughs> yeah, he, he, yeah. <laughs> Uh, that's actually the god, what well, a goddess that he follows. Um, oh, cool. She despises the undead. She, uh, is, she's worshipped a lot in this area. Because they actually despise undead and religious and stuff in this area. And necromancers and everything. And it's through her that spirits usually go to go to the, I think it's called the bone pile or something. It's kind of like where the undead, undead go to. Well, not the undead, but the dead their souls go to. And, um... She's like one of the few gods that can still kind of see a little bit of the future and what's going to happen. Whoa, very cool. Okay, cool. So this is the information about the Marauder? Yeah. Matter of fact, the very first soul to escape from her realm and come back to the living was the first vampire. Whoa. Was what? The first vampire. Ooh. Was the first soul to escape her realm and come back to living. I think that's right. Either the first vampire or the first lich. Now I'm questioning myself on how to research it. Anyway. So we get another 80 uh, XP each for uh, Mosswater Marauder now? Yep. So what's the total you guys have now? Thirty three fifty. Yeah. Okay, I don't think we can grind any more off research, guys. I think we may have to kill things. Yeah, you pretty much reached the max of of uh, of all the research. You've gotten everything. I'm not doing the research for big grinding. I'm doing the research for knowledge. So pretty much, let's just recap on everything that's going on. Uh, the professor found out that the, the Whispering Way was interested in the Horror Stone because there's something there that they're trying to collect. He found out that they're interested in, rel uh, not relics, uh, ruins, especially that are haunted, and they seem to be collecting ghosts or hauntings. It, it was probably to try to raise up the Whispering Tyrant again. And... It, they were the ones that killed him. They damaged his, his face so that he couldn't no one could cast speak dead to him. And you know of the five uh, deadly, notorious murderers that you're going to have to face which one you've already killed. And let's see anything else we need to go over? And what happened to inside? What, what actually happened that it was actually the warden that told him to, to kill all the guards and all the prisoners at the same time to save the city. So. 
All right. So you guys going to the meeting? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yep. Do we need to be concerned with uh, dinner or anything at this point? Uh, you have an hour till the meeting. So you, you can probably squeeze something in if you want to. Yeah, I'll stop by the tavern and also try to pick up some in, information on the uh, the city itself. Yeah. Just, I'm what's gonna, going on? I'm gonna go there as well. All right, uh, Crow was able to talk to people. Kupka can tell that you are kind of upset about the, and of course the undead, they're whispering a lot and talking about the zombies and skeletons and, and also about the blood markings, which were washed off once again, the letters were washed off. And um, they're trying to figure out who would go over there and be writing it. You don't know if someone's like sneaking into town doing it or they have, they have no clue. So I pretty much you're able to squeeze in a meal before heading over to the uh, the town hall. Okay. Good enough, and then we'll go to the meeting. Okay. New map, new map. Where are we? Oh god, hey. giant duck! <laughs> <laughs> I missed it. Wow, really? <laughs> Wow, that's a lot of people. Yeah. Let's kill them all. Massive experience. Are they priests? People. Just people? Yes. I like to sit up front. Putting in the council members right now. I should have said this up earlier, I just didn't think about it. Let's say we put the duck at the corner of the stage just in case there's trouble. Apparently, some of them are a little drunk. My dog is terrified of the fireworks. hiding under my desk. So funny, he's like, that's a lot of XP. <laughs> 
They're all minions! So many people, I hope we get to kill them all. <laughs> And then there's Crow. Meanwhile. Yeah, there's Crow in the middle of the crowd. I'll be yeah. overrun, buddy. One of you things is not like the other. Why are you guys all green? Within me. What's within you? It's a lot of people. It's a back house. It's a lot of council people for so few people in the town. All right. Well, actually, there's actually more people outside. So. Jeez. But we're jerks, and we decided to cram our way into their town meeting. Yep. <laughs> Especially me. <laughs> Front row seats, almost. Chris, like, I've got to see this. <laughs> <laughs> Mosh pit. Okay, so uh, council members are seated. Everyone's like kind of staring back and forth. And the what, what was the what was the council member's name? I forgot. Microphone muted. First mount, Peter Firebottom. <laughs> oh, first mount, yeah. Uh, he comes up and and then uh, kind of calms everyone down and saying that uh, you know you we know, we've seen a lot of things happen in the past few days and and this is abnormal. I don't blame the visitors. They actually helped. They act, they, they're the ones who killed those skeletons. You see someone out in the audience say, they're the ones who probably raised them. They're a bunch of necromancers. We should kick them out. Or, yeah, why don't we just lynch them? And he's, he's like, no, no, calm down. They're helping. They're investigating what's going on. And uh, you hear another one was, what about that poor old guard? And he gives his actual name. You know, whatever they said to him, he hung himself and, uh, you know, they're pretty much blaming you for this. He's calming down. Other people are like, no, they're helping. So it, it's a little bit of an argument going on right now. Uh, you guys want to say anything? or Who's got a high diplomacy? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll stand up. Uh, let's see here. I'm trying to think of the original guy's name that we came here for. Uh, the professor. Petros. Petros. Yeah, because I got his journal. Okay, uh, what's his daughter's name? Kendra. Kendra. Okay, I'll stand up and say, basically, you know, we came here on behalf of uh, Petros's daughter to show our respects. And we stuck around even when we could have left to try to help out and put things in order in this town. Um, we've come with only the best intentions and have devoted all of our spare time um, trying to get to the root of this problem. And you can ask anybody in the temple or the shops of, what, of our intentions and what we've been doing. Hey, Ray, I sent you a message on Facebook asking a couple of questions. Okay. He's on mute, too. Still. Microphone activated. Okay. So did that do anything, Will? Uh, they are kind of chattering around with themselves, and they, they are, some people are nodding, things like that. And, uh... Uh, it, it seems to be helping, yeah. Okay. So, uh, you sit back down, and a council member starts talking about what plans they have, and uh, the priest is there, and he suggests that he does certain rites that will actually block the bodies from being raised. They're kind of expensive, and the crowds are saying how they'll, they'll all chip, chip in a cover for the 
or the um, you know, the the products that have to be used to do the ritual per body to make sure that no one else is raised because they are you know a lot of them are loved ones and uh, that's, that's pretty much kind of where they are at this point. Now, uh, so your this whole discussion is going on, and it seems like outside the windows, there's a bit of a flickering light, like fire. And then all of a sudden, this unnatural scream comes out, and those windows burst through, and glass shards fly into the room. Fabulous. I'm glad I'm surrounded by a bunch of people. <laughs> wow. Uh-oh. These giant flaming skulls start flying around the room and begin catching the room on fire. Uh-oh. And they start cackling and saying things similar to, now you're going to feel what it's like to burn alive. Describe giant. Everyone roll initiative. I guess he won't. <laughs> Describe how, how big they are. Um, it, it's so huge. They are tiny. Hey, Kaka, your uh, uh, guidance is still active. Uh, can you delete that off of me, Mr. GM? Uh, hold on a second. So what, that one guy that had just spin in circles? <laughs> I was trying to zoom out. <laughs> He's possessed! Ah. There you go. It's like a raven here! Wickedy, 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 whack. That's why you lock your tokens. <laughs> yeah, we're normal. We're going to go with that. They're panicking. Yes, they are. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, 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 Okay, so I need to think of a fire. Like the flaming skulls go first. What's the M? Uh, that's where mom. fire has started. Okay. M is for uh, mom. It immediately attacks the first person in front of him. Well, this person is burning alive right now. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Shit just got real, guys. One person's dead. Oh, God. So, can we tell are these undead? Oh, yeah, they're undead. Start shooting lasers. Gonna go to pew pew. Pew pew lasers engage. Wah, wah. Jesus. Sorry. The crowd rolled a four. <laughs> uh. 
Uh, can I climb over people? You can't stay in the same spot as they are. But I can go there, right? Yeah. Just do -si do your way through. Okay. Fanning the flames, buddy. Uh. <laughs> Maybe melatonin here can do something. There's not a team in my name. Do you notice that? <laughs> yeah, I know that. Okay. So I'm going to grab uh, this person. Oh, real quick, by the way, you can, uh, with a DC-12, uh, you can't put out the fire. The fire is going to start spreading around the room each round, so. DC-12 what, survival, or? Uh, I'm checking right now, one second. Climb? Climb yeah, puts out a fire? Jump? Diplomacy, you can diplomacy the fire out. <laughs> you will go I will out. Fire. Uh, it's, it's a combat I'm maneuver it's check. Not exactly Escape thing. artist. Heal. Where's combat maneuver check? Here's CMB. 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 Use the comb. Four. Well, regardless, um, there's a guy. There's a uh, poor civilian right next to one of those skull things. I'm gonna grab him and drag him to the door. That'll be your action. Okay, so when you're moving through these people, uh, you're moving half speed. Just remember that. Not a problem. Okay. That's still within my speed range. Yay, the chicken! <laughs> oh, so if we're... Uh, uh oh. It looks like I can't even move then. Oh, you can move, just half your speed. Well, I only have a speed of 20. Uh, That's 10. That'll move you from there to two there. Two squares. Alright, this goal's gonna oh, attack. Oh, I see. I, uh, see. I was trying go. to move left. <clears throat> tumble clear of him. Quick, do a tumble check. Why is it not working? Because you're bad and you should feel bad. Alright, so 13. I guess it's not going to hit your AC. No. Quoth? I've got a clear line on him. Go get him, duck. Quack, quack. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Unreal. <laughs> dead skill. Dead skill is dead. Is redundant. <laughs> Drop it like it's hot. Technically it was flying. And it was hot. And then I dropped it. And it fought and go boom. Okay, um... I don't have enough movement to get through the crowd. Oh. That's a big fat nope. Uh, before Crow can go, is when the crowd can leave now. So everybody's going to rampage to the door? Pretty much. <laughs> Why do I feel like I'm about to get squished? <laughs> Only if they have trample damage. <laughs> They're all using Bull Rush.
So nice that they're filing out in uh, a nice orderly fashion. They remember the fire drills. <laughs> Alright, so they're going to half speed, just remember that, so... Not everyone's going to be getting out. P stands for party poopers. Who is spinning those things? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I think we have a winner. I'm not the only one, though. That's very true. I spun a couple of councilmen. Uh, I agree. They were panicking and they couldn't move. Of course they were spinning. And apparently it is a mosh pit. <laughs> Everybody's running out except us. <laughs> no means no. Don't touch me there. <laughs> All right, Crow. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> well, Crow, you have an easy avenue out. Of course, you get to the bad guys. It's a bit of a hard uh, run for you. Maybe you should go put the fire out. That's exactly what I was thinking. I'll do that. That way, the next time people move past you, you can just run straight across. Okay, uh, CMD. CMB. 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 Bravo. CMB. Let's roll that. He made it. On the head. We put the fire out. Microphone muted. <laughs> Microphone activated. It's a 20 hit. Hit who? Me? You? Uh, yeah. Sure does. <laughs> okay. He's down! Alright, you take three points of damage. And fire starts. One second. Okay, so it's starting to spread a little bit there. Raina? I think I'm going to pew pew and then I'm going to move and uh, I don't know. Pew pew first. Yeah, if any of these people start around next to fire, they, they die. If you start next to it, you take 1d6 damage. So if you start next to it, like yeah, cupcakes, who's got two of them on them? <laughs> yep. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, All thank right, you. I'm gonna move here then. 
Oh, and I think if you pass through it as well, so I mean, you're you're going to be taking damage. So. <laughs> I'm going to take a five foot step. I think right there you probably wouldn't take any damage because you're kind of going diagonal. So. Since you started your turn, you. Oh, yeah, you started your turn next to it, so you would take 2d6. So seven points. Ow. Eight, nine. Uh, would you, Fire burns. Would you put my damage in the tracker? Yep, there you go. Uh, add two more. Three more. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, ten total. And then erase that flaming skull. Next. Okay. Well, I can't use my hex heal on cupcakes. I already did that last night. But well, it's been a full day, hasn't it? It has to be 24 hours. Um, hexes are slightly different. You don't automatically refresh after a full night's rest. It has to be a full 24 hours. Oh, wrong, one quick thing. Okay. Uh, you still have a little bit of movement left of your round. Uh, I think you can move. Yeah. <laughs> it's up to you if you want to move, but you're kind of no, in a spot. I, I'm going to stay where I'm at. Okay. Burn alive. Alright, go ahead. Sorry. Try to decide what I want to do, because I'm kind of flammable, so if I try to go up there next to Cupcake to heal him, then I may burn to death next round. It's possible. Okay, so I'll just grab another uh, t uh, uh, townsperson and uh, yank him outside. And then step over here so I'm not blocking the doorway. Hey, remember, you can also put out fire if you want to by using like a cloak or something like that. Uh, oh, good point. I'll move over to a fire after I do that. Now, do you want your start your turn right next to it, though? Because if you start if you start your turn next to it, you take a d6. Oh, uh, then I'll even if you're diagonal. You're still within the the area. Yeah, of it. you're you're adjacent still. Yeah. Not a so problem. Wait till next turn to move. Okay. What the hell am I gonna do with quaff? Sure. Asses. <laughs> That's 15 movement unabated. Leaves him with 25. Can he fly? <laughs> I Not think I'd be able to get here. I want to see a drawing of this duck. Quack, quack. Fire is out. It just looks like a duck. With, claws with a and cat's feet. body with four sets of front legs and two <laughs> back legs. I may put like a tentacle on it eventually. I, I, I want to see a drawing of this duck. It just sounds so <laughs> wrong in so many biological ways. Then again, I, uh, do, I do have a roommate that the first time he played a summoner, he made a giant tentacle snake creature he called Nyarlathotep. Doing my part. Here comes the rush of people. Yeah, I'll wait to uh, make my turn to see what they do. It's okay, because your turn's after theirs. A 
firestorm is showing up next to Cup Gun. Now it's going to eat him. Cup Gun shall be surrounded in flame. I wish these people would hurry up and run out the door. <laughs> Jeez. Cat yep. gives not a fuck. There you go. Except it needs claws, like two sets of claws. <laughs> no, you should go Painted just toy. like that. Okay. Well, maybe, maybe in a few evolutions. Okay, so you lost three citizens so far. Well, right, two people and, and one councilman. Council person. It's okay, it's a council person we didn't <clears> like anyway. As long as it wasn't boobs, I'm happy. <laughs> oh, wow. Really? Boobs McGee? Boobs muggy. Alright. <clears throat> Can't get very far, let's see. All right. So you've left up to the stage. I mean, can I take two move actions? I guess it's too late now. Can I go 40 feet, let's say? Yeah. Yeah, you can do two move actions here. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna move another 40 then. That's right, yellow at Mandy. Yep, there you go. That's him. Dear God. Is that where you want to be or no? Uh, no. Is that it? Yeah. <clears throat> I'll totally miss on that one. Is putting the fire out a standard action? It is, yeah. Do I want to pew pew or not? Put fires out. They're getting out of hand. Alright. Yeah, but she's got a ranged attack. She could put the skull out and stop it from being able to set anything more fires. Cloth, cloth will do that. Don't worry. Oh, okay. Boom, fire's out. Too bad poor cup cuss still getting incinerated. <laughs> yeah. Give me my damage. <laughs> you better hope he rolls low, dude. It's almost killing you. Yeah. Hold on, guys. I gotta bl uh, blow your nose in one second. Oh my gosh, I'm you got so excited about killing you, his nose is burning. It's burning. <laughs> He doesn't watch anime. He wouldn't understand. Oh, I was about to say how anime of him. But... <laughs> yes. <laughs> Though if he got excited enough to blow you to have to have a bloody nose, I I want to know what kind of personality traits he has. <laughs> well, in the bedroom, you see. <laughs> Amanda, are you okay physically? Oh, he's in the other room. I'm in the living room. It's reference to the fact that um, getting a bloody nose in an anime means they are sexually excited. I know. I watch anime. He doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> One of the things that's always made me laugh about that nonsense. You know, there's people that actually believe it. 